Uh, the play is about uh, a man, a carpenter who makes uh, coffins, who gets asked by his community to stand for parliament uh, because they're sick and tired of the treatment that they get from the authorities and uh, what happens to him after that. Uh, but it's also a love story because um, you know he meets up with, with an old flame in his past and she tries to help him in his career and it doesn't always go well and so on. Um, but in the main it's, it's, it's about the, the community and their, you know, we've got a lot of action um, on the stage and people will pro probably say that it's, it refers to our service delivery protests and so on. But of course it's, it's, uh, it's based on, on uh, my experiences as a journalist in Africa, so it's more like a generic um, African country and if you want to be specific then I would say Congo. Uh, although the, the, the main story is based on, on a case that was uh, picked up by an academic in Malawi. I actually wrote the, the play six years ago and I haven't been able to find funding um, until now. You know, I actually was uh, on the point of giving up, uh, you know, sort of just uh, uh, accepting that it would never produce, be produced and I uh, literally made my last call uh, to the St. Louis Affairs. And I said, and I wanted to, to have it done in Afrikaans, uh, because the site was the is mainly in Afrikaans. So I said, well, send over the script, and they liked the script so much that they asked me to do, rather do it in the original English, as, the, as their main um, English offering at the festival. And we never looked back from that. Uh, we had auditions in Joburg in August. Um, we had 100 actors who applied for, for the 10 parts, and uh, we, we assembled a, an extremely good very talented cast. It was simply a joy to work with them. Very professional, very smart people. So I'm very happy with that side of the things. Of things. The relevancy is obvious. Um, you know, uh, poor communities actually um, hold the key to our future because they have most of the vote. You know, as the ANC called them, the dirty vote. Um, and this play is about the dirty vote. About um, impoverished people uh, who are so poor that they don't know how money properly works because they only see it once in a while. You know, it's a barter economy and so on. Um, and money is very confusing to them. Um, they live in an, in an environment where uh, they believe in the spirits, they believe in magic. Some of them anyway. Most of the, the characters in my play don't believe in, in spirits and so on. But it's definitely one of the elements in the play. I just hope that people will come in droves, you know, not, not, not for, for the commercial aspect of it, but uh, so much hard work has been put in, into this play and we need an audience because bigger audiences make the actors play better.